Welcome to Edgeview, episode 3.01, officially in our third season, we hope. And um, kind of approaching a different format. We're not going to record live. We're just going to have some smaller shows and produce them as often as we like, essentially. Uh, we wanted to be able to reconnect with you guys and with ourselves as well and have some more fun conversations because in the world of ed tech, nothing ever stops. Right, ladies? Never stops. So um, what I think we're going to start doing is, well, tonight we're just going to kind of catch up on what everybody's been doing as a kind of a where are they now. And um, we'll just go from there and see what happens. So first of all, have any of you guys actually gone back and seen how many episodes we've done? No. Cat, no. <laughs> Cat, how many episodes have we done? Over 30. <laughs> Holy cow. 30. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, you're including the first season, which was shorter. And then we did a whole full second season. We got up to, like, up in the upper 20s for that. So it's probably over 30. Um, but it's fun to go back and watch because you can see everybody's hairstyle change. It's like the Weather Channel. If you watch the Weather Channel long enough, you see the women and all their hair change. Seriously, you can see how everybody changes. Stacia like, is not here. Have you seen like which hairstyle I like the best? Yes, it's frightening. Okay. It's very frightening. And my favorite though, Stacia's not here tonight. She's in New York. Well, welcome to Edgy New on the Edward. Someone is watching it. <laughs> <laughs> don't watch the hair. Don't watch the hair. Oh, that's funny. Oh my God. Well, no, Stacia's hair is is awesome because you literally see. And she's going to hate us for saying this, but you can see that like, it's, it's, the it's different. Yes, it's fantastic to watch. <laughs> fantastic to watch. So, no, my hair has gotten longer. I think, Kate, you're, you have that awesome, perfect hairstyle that we oh. all hate to love. Mm, thank you. It's, thank so, you. You love your hair. It's a lot longer now. It's easier, yeah. believe it or not. Okay, we're talking about hair. Anyway, <laughs> so hair and education <laughs> is... Um, <laughs> Quite interesting, oh, wow. and sometimes it's just a bit distracting. So, right, although vouch for this, if you actually have to deal with hardware and software and you're in style, like installing stuff, hair can get in the way. Yes, it can. Definitely, so, I do vouch for that. Nails can get in the way. Nails can get in the way. This is a hashtag woman problem. I'm gonna do it anyway because we're gonna keep doing it. First world. Don't forget that. <laughs> Yes. All right. So um, why don't? Because I think she deserves to talk first. Kate, why don't you tell us no. uh, what happened? Oh. Now we did have a quick reunion show during Christmas, just for fun. Yeah. So yeah. what have you been doing since then? Any big news in your life? And oh. any big thoughts to share in general about education or technology? Ah, uh, big news. Well, I have a wonderful. Um, technology specialist group including Jamie Vandergriff and Amy um, even though she is leaving she will always be part of our group um, we are just very sad um, I won't even go there because you know she knows I like tear up every time I talk about it but um, a lot has changed the district has um, adopted some really great initiatives that I'm hopeful will lay a foundation that it will be unprecedented for us um, I'm still teaching for Kennesaw. I love teaching for Kennesaw, and I've started my Ed Leader certification. And mm -hmm. found out today I got a 100 on my first law paper. Yay! A 100! Oh my god! Got some sound effects on here. I can't wait. Oh my god! Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what we need. So anyway, um, I'm getting married. Yay! Yay! In uh, the fall. So that's my personal big news. And okay. oh my god. And then um, some other exciting news is that we will be hosting the... Um, wait, 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 wait. <laughs> okay. okay. We will be hosting the Gaffey Southern Summit this year um, in Fayette and uh, at, at our Rising Star and Stars Mill High School Middle School Complex. So we're very excited. That's going to be in March 2016, and that's really um, something I'm thrilled about. So. And this is kind of the first big announcement for that, isn't it? It is. It is. Yeah. It's the first big okay. announcement. Write your calendars. Make your changes, everybody. That's right. Mm -hmm. Do March is better. Hey, and seriously, March is better than January. March is much better than January. That's actually what I talked to Dr. Kraft about. I said, can mm -hmm. I have a March date? Because March is that month that just seems to go on forever. So, um, anyway, I'm just really excited. And Ed Camp Fayette is July 23rd. 
we will all be there. Okay. At Sarah Hartman's our elementary. That's right. That's Jamie's school. They have a great technology specialist. Yes, they do. Oh, my god. And we're going to have Amy. Amy's going to come back for mm -hmm. it as well. All right. So we're going to use that as a segue here. Here we Amy, go. Where are you? Well, currently, as we speak, I'm freezing in Maine. I had to put on a sweater. <laughs> Sorry, I just wanted to open up some of the big frame. Wow. So I'm in Maine for the summer, and this is where I'm from. And so last summer we came for about six weeks, and this week we're here. This week, this summer we're here for about four, and then we're heading to California, and then I'm heading home for Ed Camp Fayette. And <laughs> then we're packing up the house and moving north. Well, we're not really, we are not moving north. The kids and I are moving north because my husband has been there already. And so we are going to Maryland, and I am hoping and praying for a job. So just put in another application today, and I am really hoping that they say, that's the girl we want. I'll tweet this to them later. Yeah, that's it. Totally yeah, you should definitely tweet. This. Well, hopefully we'll get it. I we'll get it up. Well, actually, no, I know I will get it up tonight. So, and we're also going to put it on SoundCloud, by the way. I don't even think I've told you guys. I think I was on Boxer that I'm going to um, rip the audio out and put it up on SoundCloud because SoundCloud oh. now has a really free. Well, I mean, something that um, Very good. kind of I guess technically it would be our brother show at this point. What Lee Green and Clint Winter are starting up the Ed Tegri one. Oh, good. Yes, and uh, they did mention um, SoundCloud that you're able to have three hours free for podcasting a month. Let a me month. tell you something about those two men right there that you just mentioned. They are awesome. If you need, like, if you live in North Georgia uh, and you're in that either close to Athens or close to uh, Floyd County, Clint is in Athens. He is with the Instructional Technology Department with uh, Clark County Schools and our friend Lee Green is in Floyd County which is close to Rome or inside Rome proper and we uh, they are just phenomenal. We need to tweet that out. Everybody should follow Lee and Clint. I am tweeting it right now. Awesome. I will so. retweet it since you're a faster typer. That's, except for the fact that I have been a little bit social media dry. <laughs> so, and that's just, you know, okay. by happenstance for me because I am a, well, did it, have I even, I didn't think I talked about it in the winter, or maybe I was just too frightened to say this, but, you know, being all but dissertation is a little scary. Oh, sure. So, and you do realize, you know what's really funny is the entirety of Edgeview has watched me progress from the start of my coursework all the way through to my all but dissertation, my qualifying exams. Wow. So, yeah. That's so, amazing. it's fun to watch because you can kind of see me age. <laughs> oh, how funny. So you can see you can see the stress. <laughs> I think that might be true for all of us. <laughs> well, you also see you also saw me being very pregnant at one point. So. Uh, but again, weather channel, you see that happen there too. But um, yeah, still all the dissertation and tried to do this huge game at Georgia Gwinnett and there was all kinds of craziness that happened, didn't pan out as much as we thought. I did all my part, but it was just a little crazy and um, had to kind of reboot, but you know what, that's the dissertation process, you live, you learn. But things have been really cool. I'm working right now um, with a, speaking of Floyd County, there's a middle school up in Floyd who's picked up some of the stuff I've talked about with gamification, where you just take the elements of it and you integrate it. You don't even have a game involved, period. You're just using the stuff that works in games that mm -hmm. motivate kids. You're kind of stealing from games to make your courses work. So Love we're piloting it. that. It's a lot of fun. And I'm hoping to see that in some other places as well. And uh, still at George Gwinnett as a tech training coordinator. And I am going to ISTE. And so is Jamie. And Kate. <gasps> Are you really? Yes. yes I didn't know this. Yes. Awesome. Oh, Amy, you'll be there in spirit. I'm coming in spirit because I can't give up summer in Maine. That's true. I've never been, but I imagine it's very pretty and a lot less humid than it is right now in the state of Georgia. Mm -hmm. And I'll be living in the Philadelphia region very soon um, and spending lots of time there because both of my sisters are there. So That's awesome. You can't be there during ISTE. I know. I'm sorry. We'll, we'll, uh, we'll hang out to you in. There we go. One of these days, I will actually go to an ISTE. Wait, you haven't ever been to an ISTE? 
For real? Really? Even last year? In Atlanta? No, no because I was here in Maine. <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay. We will write this wrong in 2016 when it's in Denver. Absolutely, we Let's will. Let's all go to Denver. And you need to, Jamie, you need to tell how you're going to ISTE. That is the coolest story. Um, well, um, I'll start with, uh, yes, Kat and I are going to be roommates at ISTE. Ooh, Look out, no Philly. Party. Oh, it really be so tired. <laughs> Sorry about your luck, Philly. Um, so we're very <laughs> excited about that because you get Kat and Jamie together and you just don't know what's going to happen. So um, it's going to be a good time. Just saying. Um, I am coming to... Um, because I actually um, received a grant from a sorority for um, uh, the professional foundation or professional, why can't I talk tonight? Like I'm struggling y'all, it's been a while. Um, a professional enhancement grant. Um, so I'm very, very excited about that. Um, sororities get back y'all, for real. Um, and so I am going to ISTE, thanks to the Alpha Sigma Alpha Foundation, and I am so excited about that. ISTE um, is an incredibly expensive. I went a couple years ago on my own dime, and I don't even want to tell you what I spent on that. So any help you can get to get there is huge, um, and it, it, it really is a great experience. So I'm excited to be going. I'm excited to be rooming with the amazing Cat Flippin. And looking forward to whatever that holds. So, um, yes. And I'm excited. <laughs> I'm excited on a bunch of levels. Um, since December, what's happened with me? Um, oh, I did that EDS thing and finished it. Um, Woo! Congrats. Congrats. That's yeah. cute. Now, where's your little applause sound? Oh, wait. Um, thank you. Weird applause. Um, so I finished the coursework for EDS, and then there was like the ha ha, just kidding. You need to be certified in instructional technology piece, and I was like, oh great. So I'm taking one more class because who doesn't love classes um, this summer? <laughs> and um, <laughs> I'm taking one more class, and I think unless there's a ha ha after this one, that I'm going to be certified in instructional technology. But it just ha ha for a year because then I actually have to take the test and pass it to be for reals. Um, certified, but oh, I think I think that will make me the first uh, certified instructional technology specialist around, right, Kate? Will I be the first? Ah, uh, I believe so. Yeah, I'm almost certain. Yeah, brand new. Uh, well, the only thing is that that it's it's more informational technology based, which I still don't understand exactly where they were going with that, or if somebody was very confused. So actually, you can claim both. In oh, my I opinion. don't want to. Is that okay? <laughs> you do whatever you want to do. Yeah, I'm just going to claim the one if that's all right. Um, so I, you know, I'll have it. It's going to be on there, and that is pretty, I suppose. But um, school based. Um, finished the year at Sarah Hart Mentor, and just was just thoroughly excited. Um, it was. Uh, a great year. It was a year where I I told Amy I think I had two bad days, like days that I went home and went, oh, today sucked. <laughs> I mean, when you go into our school year and have two days, and only two days where you go, today sucked, those are pretty awesome days. Um, my teachers are willing to embrace change. My students are hungry for inquiry, and um, Kate is like, willing to help wherever she can, whenever we bug her, and we bug her a lot. Um, my principal is the bomb.com. Um, she gets it. She is the dream elementary principal, so um, I'm saying that, but if you try to take her, I'm going to tell you she's terrible. <laughs> like, giving her no raving reviews outside of um, if you're trying to take her, because she just she gets it. And when you can work for someone that gets it, and um, it believes in what you believe in, and truly cares about making great change mm -hmm. um, and doesn't say, um, sorry, we can't, don't have the money. She says, I'll find the money. I will do what we need to do. We'll ask for more. We'll email Kate. Okay. <laughs> okay, we'll attest to that. We email her a couple times. Um, but it's pretty awesome. So I'm super excited to go back for the next school year. And um, we have some super cool awesomeness cooking. Um, and that's another thing I love about her is that she's very... Um, if I suggest some crazy scheme, she's like, okay, <laughs> sounds good. Um, so uh, we have some really neat stuff that's going to be coming out of uh, Sarah Hart Mentor in the fall, and um, I can't wait to talk about it on our future shows. 
it was the perfect like ed tech leadership mar you know marriage made in heaven I mean it's just been amazing and I love that I can say you know what I think y'all are going to be project-based learning next year how does that sound and Jamie goes okay it tastes like one a pile of something Okay, I don't even need to tell them what it is. Just bring it on over. We'll just do it. It'll be the first project-based learning elementary school in the district. Sure, let's do it. I'd be interested to see that. You're gonna try to integrate technology with that too, Jamie? Of course you are. What am I asking? What the hell? Hey, and I made a really nice. Um, I made a really nice project uh, outline that you are welcome to have. I'll look at her Still for that interview. Wait, what? I had to do this whole, because the interview I had on Monday was for oh. um, a STEM position in a project-based learning environment, mm -hmm. she said, it's on the wheel, and I'm like, okay, so it's a special, got it. Anyway, um, <laughs> different story. Anyway, so I had to create like a unit, a project-based learning <laughs> Oh my god, Jamie. She cricketed me, that's hard. Uh, <laughs> What you don't know, what people watching, what you don't know is uh, before we started recording, we went a little crazy with some of the features on the Hangouts. A little? A little. But not, not the sound effects. Not the sound effects. You're going to have a lot of editing to do. This is the problem with not <laughs> Well, and, and in a YouTube editor, you, you cannot change the sound. <laughs> crickets it is. Yep, so crickets will be there. However, you, the, the very beginning part will be quiet. I was cricketing the wheel. Oh, the wheel. I was the, cricketing the wheel, not Amy. You're cricketing. So anyway, the wheel. <laughs> um, yes, it was a lovely um, expansion on a project that I did with the kids this year, which was taking a spreadsheet and flowing it into Google Maps. But I made it like the big like um, field trip finder thing that the teachers and students and other people in the district could use. It was a really cool idea. Very cool. Very, very. I love cool. it. Now you know what you need to own up. If you if you make good projects, you should own up to it. I think I it was. Uh, you as well tweet that out. Well, it was it was Ed Tech Women at mm -hmm. Lincoln. So um, you know Jamie and Allison Peterson and I and Kate as well has been have been working on Ed Tech Women Atlanta. And the last meeting we talked about you know basically talking about the cool things you're doing and have done and really telling how amazing it is. It's okay to say. I'm really good at something, and I've done something really cool. Take a look. So many people are afraid of doing that. I know. I get. I get. You know, having to sit at the at the district office, and don't get me wrong, I love my job, and um, it just things don't happen fast enough, and it gets really frustrating for me. But um, it's hard to sit there after so long in the classroom and hear of what. Amy and Jamie are doing and think, oh, oh, oh I don't have any kids. <laughs> you want to come back and play with us. It does. It really does. It made me really kind of pause and think, hmm. For the record, um, I did offer Kate a corner of my room as her office, so she yes. didn't say that I didn't offer. This is true. I give her my closet. She can move right in. <laughs> well, and I might still take you up on that. Um, but anyway, just wanted to interject that. They, they have really done a, a, just a phenomenal job. And so, Kat, Kat, it's your turn. You need to update us. Uh, let me think here. Do you have anything else, or did you? I feel like I'm forgetting stuff. <laughs> and again, this is a hazard of, um, you know, work and more work. <laughs> Dissertation plus, you know, driving to work and driving home and having two mm. girls. And, but no, I take it back. There is some cool stuff. Um, at Camp Rome. Yes. Happened, and that was a huge success. So I was really excited about Ed Camp Rome, and um, that was in collaboration with uh, Floyd County Schools and Rome City Schools. Um, from Floyd County Schools, we had um, Craig Ellison, the director of technology, and uh, we also had um, uh, Lee Green, the um, instructional technology specialist there. And then from Rome City Schools, we had uh, Terry, who was uh, the um, instructional technology person there as well. So it was uh, a lot of fun, and it was a huge success. We had over 130 people. We had 150 people register, and That's good turn out. I had a lot of fun. Yeah, for an extra uh -huh. it was. So I'm um, I f I, and, pe and people do say like I feel like I do have a camp hacked, and it, it, I mean once you, well Jamie, you know how it is. Once you get the pattern of it. You know, you know, you know what you need to produce. You know what you need to do, and you just make it make it happen. So, although we did discover one cool thing that Kate 
Kate continues to geek out about the painter's tape. Oh yeah, oh my god. Yes, the painter's I'll tape. Have to, I'll have to pe post a picture. I just found a picture of me and Lee and Clint. Um, oh, awesome. But but it is, I mean, yeah, that was brilliant. I mean, uh, we stressed about that grid, the session grid to put up on the wall so that people could fill out and put their post-it notes up for their sessions. And I walked into Ed Camp Room and Lee has blue painter's tape in a grid. I was like, oh my God, brilliant. And it's nice because Terry and I are short, so having uh, Craig and Lee who are who are nice and tall, we're like, get the tall parts, tall parts, and it, it's just very nice and big. And then we use just the big sticky notes um, just to put the sessions up there. And um, then we digitize everything, uh, put it up on uh, the app. We used the app for the app. So it was, uh, it was a lot of fun. That was March 21st, and it'll definitely be happening again, um, happening again next year. So, And Ed Camp Circuit, and we have Ed Camp Fayette coming up. Mm -hmm. um, yes. And there's at Camp West Georgia on August 1st. Yes, yes. That's and Laura Farmer. Let me tell you about this woman, y'all. You talk about teachers who get just, you know, passionate about educational technology and what that means. And then, I mean, this is a classroom teacher. She is in no way direct, you know, like she isn't in um, like an instructional technology position or anything. She started this ed camp. This was, she was, she felt so passionate about it. She by herself went and and contacted West Georgia Risa, and they have just taken it and run with it. It's amazing. And too bad we're already back at work by that time. I know. I told her that. I was like, oh. I haven't even looked at the day of the week. What day of the week is it? It's a Saturday. Oh, oh. Well, that's not that bad. Yeah, Saturdays right. are doable. It's a Saturday, right? August first. Let me double check. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, but Ed Camp is kind of booming in Georgia, which is nice. So um, and me and uh, Amy Vitala are putting together a nice little. Did I say her last name wrong? She's gonna kill me. No, no, you did not. But she's one of my favorite people. Me too. She's fantastic. Well, Ed Camp Cobb happened. It was literally back to back to back Ed, Ed Camps in March. Yes, was, and uh, then it was Ed Camp Roswell. Yep. Like the next weekend. Mm -hmm. And before that, in February, was Ed Camp Savannah. Mm-hmm. And I wanted to go to all of them and could not. I could well except for Ed Camp Room. Mm -hmm. And technically, because we can we can throw in Chattanooga, it's close enough. At, at Camp Chattanooga happened, or Gig City at Camp Gig City happened in May, I believe. So a lot of and they're going to have two a year now, y'all. Katrina, I saw Katrina at, at Camp USA, and they're having two a year. Oh wow! That's, that's um, a big shout out to Ed Camp Gig City. Yeah. Big, big. Now, I mean, I, I would I understand, especially if you don't have a like Tennessee doesn't have a huge booming Ed Camp scene. Georgia, I don't think we need that. We have so many, you know, egg camps going on, and if I have my way, egg camp Athens will be happening soon. That would be so, awesome. And you know me, I get, I'm getting my way on that. So, I love my, I love my egg camps. I'm not sure about egg camp Atlanta. Um, as soon as I have more information, I'll let y'all know. But it'll probably end up being in September again. Props to everyone who puts these together. Um, I took a hiatus. Um, because I started, I did like Pad Camp Dallas, like four or five years ago. I mean, it was like the beginning of the beginning. And I did that and then a couple years of Ed Camp Atlanta with Kat. And I just burned out a little bit on the, that end. It takes so much work. And like props to people who do it. I mean, Kate busts her hump for it. And so I really said to Kate, Kate, can I be the hostess with the mostest? <laughs> like that's the role I want in Ed Camp Fayette. Like I want my room decorated. I want to greet people. I want to have them come in and take in my happiness and work with people, but that's the job I want. I call mm -hmm. it with the mostest uh, for Ed Camp. I mean, right. it is hard, hard work. It yeah. is, and that's something I have to give props to again to Craig and Lee and Terry with Ed Camp mm -hmm. Rome. They were gung ho. They, I mean, you, you really have to buy 100% in, and you have to really commit yourself and say, "I'm going to make this the best thing I can," because there have mm -hmm. there are. There are egg camps that are just not what they what they should be. It takes it takes work. You can't it just does. pull it to make it successful. You can't just pull it out of a hat. It needs to it's look a, like it did. It's a year's worth of planning. I mean, oh, it yeah. really is. Mm -hmm. um, I can't I can't take full credit. Angie Forrester and Matt Jackson in my department. I could not do it without them. And then we have a committee of about fifteen people that help us. Um, on the day of, so it's it is. I mean, you got to really plan ahead. But Ed Camp Foundation puts out some really great stuff, and I keep waiting on my Ed Camp box to show up that we ordered. But hopefully, it'll be here by the time we have Ed Camp. 
They will, and if not, you know, the beautiful thing about a camp is, you know, if something something breaks, then you can be like, that's ah, okay, next yeah, thing. No big deal. Exactly. Stacia, by the way, has been trying to join us. Oh. Yeah. It's not, it says I've joined the call, but I don't see you, ladies, and I'm trying to figure out if it's been a while since we've been in a, a hangout formally. Yeah. Tell her to check her email. She's trying to do the calendar. I bet. Uh, no, Jamie actually shared the actual link in Boxer. Oh, okay. Yeah. That's why Boxer's going crazy. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. I, I'm, I'm, this is, see, this is, some, hey, this is something's breaking. <laughs> I'm trying to see, from, as a director perspective, with the control room, I don't think they have a setting yet, because we are broadcasting live. I don't know if she's able to join or not, if it's a live broadcast. Oh, I see. So, you know what, let me send her in a direct invite. Okay. Because she is live somewhere very cool, and it'd be nice to get her in. So we'll Maybe see. Maybe I would like chunk this and put like a whole Ed Camp section. <laughs> we just talked fifteen minutes about Ed Camp. No, 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 it's yeah, okay. That's part. Of, well, that's part of what's happening in Georgia. Is there anything else that's happening? There oh wait, is. there she is. <gasps> hey guys. Hey, hey Stacia. Can y'all see Washington Square? Oh yeah. my God! Awesome. Yes. All right, so Stacia, we just want to tell us what you're doing. Why are you there, and how have things been? Oh, my gosh. First of all, I'm exhausted, but I'm up here at Marymount. Um, Marymount's an all-girls Catholic school with three campuses, and um, they've been doing some incredible stuff with the maker movement. So um, this whole um, design, was it? I think it's Design, Do, Discover, I think is what it's called. So it's D3, 2015 is the hashtag. Um, they have a bunch of people who have been like successful with maker spaces. Basically, there are coaches. It's very organic. It's kind of like an ed camp, you know. Um, you go see their maker space. You say what kind of things you're interested in learning. It could be an idea. It could be a tool. It could be whatever, something with pedagogy. And you find people that you want to work with. And we came up with this cool project. You find like-minded people, and we get to present them tomorrow. And so while you're working on your projects, there's workshops that are going on. So, like, if you want to learn about the laser cutter, you can go and learn about the laser cutter while someone else goes and learn about Arduino or someone goes and learn about Makey Makey. And you figure out how to bring that back to your group and incorporate that into your project. So it's been really cool. Oh, fantastic. Um, and, we'll, and tell us the hashtag one more time. Uh, D. The letter D, the number three, two zero one five. I just tweeted out the conference homepage to everybody. Thank awesome. you. Now, Stacia, before you go, tell us what has happened in your life in the last six months. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Are we talking about like professionally? <laughs> sure, professionally. Yeah, we'll get it. Um, well, lots of things. Um, exciting things. I'm actually going to be kind of taking over K-12 integration. At Love It, instead of just being responsible for the middle school, I have an amazing team. Um, we've been looking at scope and sequence K-12 of computer science, um, integration, um, what is this maker thing going to look like? So, like, how do we even fit in design and building and engineering into the scope and sequence of the classroom? And how do we get that integrated, you know, into the curriculum? Um, so, some exciting things there. And that's kind of like informing how we feel about teacher competency. So we're looking at that, seeing what we're asking our kids to commit to and, and learn and do on projects. And, you know, we can't just, like, ask the kids to do it and the teachers not even be familiar with it. So we're going to be looking at um, instructional coaching. I'm actually going out to University of Kansas um, at the end of July with an instructional coaching team that we kind of put together to look at best practices and making sure that we're being innovative and that we're cutting edge and that, you know, it all makes sense that we're not just doing it because it's cool and popular at the moment, yeah, wow. but that is something, you know, those soft skills that we want our kids to have to be successful in the future. Very nice. Gosh. And she's awesome. like in the middle of a square and she's just going bam, bam, like rambling everything off. This is why we love you. So amazing because there's some guy back here like doing tricks for money and it's really inappropriate. <laughs> Oh, nice. <laughs> <laughs> that to be edited out. Uh, Only in New you York City. Okay, y'all, YouTube editor, you cannot edit in the middle of something. <laughs> Just the end. Just don't, telling you how it is. Don't do this to me. I'm going to have to download the MP4, and I'm going to have to Camtasia this. Shout out to Tech Smith, how much I love you right now. <laughs> we love you, Camtasia. We love you, Tech Smith. Yes. And you weren't and loving them when I was going to do a snag of all the crazy pictures we took earlier. You won't weren't feeling them then, were you? No, Stacia, you also miss Jamie going crazy with the pictures and the sound effects. But that will be recorded. The sound effects will be recorded. Oh, was that a soul 
sewing machine? <laughs> <laughs> it was not a sewing machine. It was, was supposed it? to be la- It was supposed to be applause. <laughs> oh, you know it sounds crazy on my phone. I miss you, ladies. Like, what else have y'all been talking about? Oh uh, well, you, I mean, we have a recorded so you can catch up, but uh, basically just us catching up and then waxing uh, poetically yes, about uh, egg camp. Okay. And who's going to ISTE? Jamie and I. For me. All right, everybody so but Amy. I'll follow you guys on Twitter. Uh, you better. And, uh, and of course, Jamie and I are roommates. So that'll be awesome. I know. I'm so jealous. Yeah, Jamie, you know I don't sleep, right? Okay. okay. I'm bringing my diffuser, and I will put some lavender in it. Tell me you don't sleep. <laughs> Bring my oils. We are solid. Oh. <laughs> She's going to be like, here, drink this tea. <laughs> yeah. No, don't drink anything she gives you. Trust me. <laughs> <laughs> don't do it. Y'all are painting a rough picture. Yikes. Wow. All right. Well, we've reached, our, we're trying to just stick to 30 minutes. We've reached the 30 minute mark. So. Oh, good. I got to catch the end of the show. Yeah, you did. Thank you for coming in so quickly, Stacia. I'm happy, we're happy you can make it. I'm so glad too. Are we gonna like reboot? Are we doing this from now on, like every month? Uh, yeah, every month. Or just and, and not that everybody watching needs to know. Oops, um, sorry. No, no, you're fine. No, 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 it's fine. I mean, what we're gonna try to do because our schedules are so hectic, and we didn't want to give up Edgy View because it's been it's been a year essentially. So um, we're aiming to just dedicate one night a month just to record, and do as many as we can, and then just roll them out every week. I like it. Yeah, so that way, you know, we can keep the conversation flowing, and um, a lot of the back channel, we're not going to do it live, because it's a lot of pressure, and most people don't like, we don't, I mean, the live events are not necessary, podcasting is becoming popular again, but if you look, live events are not necessary, and long events as well, it's just, nobody has time. I know, I know what is so saturated right now, like everything, I think that's what we noticed with iSummit last week, so. You're right, there is a very interesting saturation level going on. So maybe that's something that we'll talk about in a show coming up. Awesome. All right, guys. So let's uh, go ahead and sign off. So thank you again, and uh, we'll see you all soon. Bye, y'all.